Yo, what's up? It's your boy. I'm on the set of my next film project, which is um, the last of the trilogy for the uh, Werewolf series. Um, a lot's happening, man. Um, casting has been done. I will cast some more extras later on next year to fill in some spaces like for the police station and things like that. But the main casting is done. I'm having lunch next week with the main um, protagonist uh, to go over some notes. Um, everything will be filmed in California this time. I will not be traveling for this film. Uh, the last couple of films, New York, uh, Texas, it, it was a lot. But this time I'm staying neutral right here in Cali. Matter of fact, I have talent coming from out of state. You know, I have a guy in the film coming from Canada to be in this film. He's also a tech guru. He has some new film equipment that he just purchased that we're gonna try out for this film. So we'll be using new cameras, new camera techniques. Um, it took me a while to come to this conclusion, but I finally have a story that I want to tell to end the trilogy of the werewolf story. And um, it's it's been a journey. Uh, the script up here is done. The script is done. I've been writing it. Um, the first act, second act is pretty much done. Kind of taking my time. I want to refine it a little bit because um, A, it's got to be done right. When you end something, it's got to be done right. But it's sunny out California. Uh, the, it's been blazing hot. It's been averaging 108 degrees out here. It's been brutal. But, you know, some of the film has taken place. Uh, the trailer is done. The trailer for the film is already done, the teaser trailer. Um, I will make an announcement later on down the line when that trailer will release. It's gonna be a while from now, so don't look for it for no time soon. Another color scheme, uh, new prosthetics. This will be the last time that I don this werewolf uniform, so it made it to three films, and trust me, it's time to retire because it's getting beat up pretty good. But uh, I have a really narrow, straight to the point, lean story. Sometimes when you make sequels, people tend to get bigger and bigger. I want to do the reverse. I want to do Alien 3. I don't want to make a bad movie like Alien 3, but I love how Alien 3 dialed it back from all of these aliens from part two to just one alien and part three Imano versus Imano I want to go back to that kind of setting because with each sequel you have to get bigger like I thought okay traveling going to New York making the story bigger doesn't always make your story better and I was I was done after part two I was convinced hey you know my mom you know my dad happy ending, I got a girl, getting married, got a baby on the way. You know, what story can you tell? And trust me, and this is a compliment to the subscribers and fans, people came at me with all kind of ideas. Hey man, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. You can't always listen to your, your fanship because that'll get you in trouble. That's how you make bad movies. But I do pay attention and everybody fell in love with the characters in the last film, especially my mom and especially Lovely, the lady that played my love interest. And then you have to push the envelope further. And the natural progression is to, is to, is to take that story and push it forward. So I took a moment to pause and really thought about it. Is that the proper story to tell? And I wasn't gonna do a part three. And that's why when I decided to do it, I had something else in the back of my mind, which was um, The Lookout. I'm shooting two movies concurrently, and The Lookout kind of had more passion at the time. And I jumped into that, 
and finished it, went to Texas and did everything. And that movie was a huge success. Thank you for the lookout. I did not see that coming, the success of that film. But it gave me a moment to think of a simple story I wanted to tell for the werewolf story. And all of my stories have a MacGuffin. The first one, there were two werewolves. There was a werewolf and there was a wolf killing at the same time. So when the police investigation was going on, it was like, oh, is it the wolf? Is it the werewolf? And the second story was about the uh, blue moon, which is there's two full moons in one month and it happened to fall on Halloween night, hence Halloween, werewolf. It was, it was a cool story. And, you know, I was wanted to tell a love story. So how do you further that story or make it better? It's really difficult to tell a fresh story, but I'm taking the Alien 3 approach. I'm gonna dial it back, but tell a simple but complex story to end out the trilogy. But everything is going well. The script is smooth. I have a great cast. Uh, I have a dream team of people I wanted to work with. And there's some people, I had a list from years ago that I'm gonna work with this person, this person, this person. And this movie will finalize that list of people I wanted to work with. So I'm really excited about that. But things are going smooth. The trailer is done. I will make an announcement when the trailer will come out. Uh, the MacGuffin in this story is something that happened in real life. And so it's a relatable message that's not even 10 years old that you can relate to. Like, oh, I remember when that happened will be the MacGuffin of this next werewolf story. But hey, live from Hollywood, your boy TLA is on set working his ace off on the new joint. Um, I'm excited about it. It's nice to have the director bug juices flowing through you again. And um, I wouldn't do a project if I wasn't excited about it. And I'm definitely, definitely excited about this. So I'll see y'all soon. Again, thank you for the support. It means more than you will ever know. Until the next time, be sure to like, share, subscribe, Tell all your friends, and more importantly, leave your comments down low. And I'm out. Peace. Know the routine. Fade to black.